So now in this video, we're gonna introduce the J310 transistor. So it is a JFET, it's an N-channel uh, JFET. So that's junction field effect transistors. They have a property where they uh, can set uh, current uh, pretty well. We're gonna look at the IDSS of this uh, J310 right there. So when you have the gate and the source tied together, source uh, to ground right there, or gate to ground, they're tied together, doesn't matter. Then when you apply a voltage, you'll have a certain amount of current that uh, flows through. That's the maximum current that will go through this transistor. You can add some resistance uh, between the source and the gate there to uh, lower it from that point. But the main thing is the J310, when you uh, connect gate to source, it will probably be somewhere, I believe it's 20 milliamps to 60 milliamps. Could be that whole wide range. So even with the same component, you could have a big difference. But uh, most JFETs allow a lot less current. Some of them allow more. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. There's no universal symbol. This is the one that I like that a couple of uh, sources I use also use. Now, uh, we have a uh, wattage there, 350 milliwatt maximum. And uh, so... If we go to five volts and 30 milliamps uh, goes through, that'll bring us to 0.15 watts, which is about half of the maximum wattage. So uh, we're gonna watch our voltage and current to make sure we don't exceed uh, that wattage by very much. So now I bridge that gap with the uh, multimeter set to measure milliamps of current. So this isn't the IDS, yes, uh, IDSS yet, because uh, I'll just see if I raise the voltage now there's more current, so we just didn't have enough power to get to the IDSS. So at the three volts across the transistor, now we, we pretty much have it. There you can see 32 if I go up one more volt. Now it's uh, 33, a little bit more right there. So probably want at least uh, four volts across it uh, to keep the IDSS. So five, it's still holding steady. And uh, as we said before, it's going to get kind of hot with uh, more than five volts. Uh, but the uh, main thing is you can see the current held steady there. So I don't have anything to use uh, that much current at the moment. Um, if we had a load also in there, we just have to increase the voltage to make up for that load. Otherwise the transistor will set the current. So we'll look at that in later videos with less current and an LED and uh, maybe some other stuff if I can think of it. But in any case, this is a short video series. We're gonna keep it short. I always turn off the multimeter though. At least get it off of measuring current. That's when you can blow a fuse or something uh, pretty easily. So. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.